And finally, in Latin America, the economic and political crisis in Venezuela is worsening. In fact, Venezuela has a proverbial gun to its head as it could soon see a return of harsh U.S. sanctions. To keep its economy and energy sector afloat as the threat looms, Caracas is turning towards its ally, Iran, and is trying to mend ties that frayed over the last year, with the focus on an oil alliance between the two strategic partners. Our next report explains. The Latin American nation of Venezuela has been gripped in a political and economic crisis since 2015. Over the years, the crisis have only aggravated, forcing over 7.5 million people to leave the country in the last eight years. Venezuela's oil sector is the most crucial to its economy. In 2019, the United States imposed sanctions on Venezuela's oil industry. Washington gave an ultimatum to Caracas to end its political crisis. This after President Nicolas Maduro was sworn in for a second term, with elections being dismissed as neither free nor fair. In 2020, helping Venezuela in this economic turmoil and alleviating a part of that fuel shortage was Washington's arch foe, Tehran. However, in October last year, Washington loosened some of those sanctions after the Maduro government reached a deal with the opposition to hold free and fair elections in 2024. Once the U.S. restrictions were eased, Venezuela began reprioritizing selling its oil that was originally planned for Iran to other cash-paying nations. As a result, Venezuela fell behind in payments to Iran and a crucial oil alliance between them began to fray. Now, Venezuela has announced dates for the next presidential elections. But whether they will be free or fair remains in doubt. There is an ongoing systematic crackdown on the opposition. So the threat of a return of harsh U.S. sanctions looms over the Latin American country once again. The oil exemption is due to expire on April 18th. As the situation grows dire once again, Venezuela is turning back towards its strategic partner, Iran. The two countries are reportedly trying to patch together the oil alliance that had begun to free. Caracas had fallen behind on oil swaps that had boosted crude exports and helped stem domestic fuel shortages. If the U.S. sanctions return, which they most likely will, Caracas will need Iran's support for its oil industry and to keep its energy sector afloat. So it's now rushing to salvage its partnership with Iran. The three-year-old alliance with Iran involved hundreds of millions of dollars in oil swaps. Venezuela has now accelerated deliveries of heavy crude and fuel cargoes to Iran. Venezuela's oil minister, Pedro Telechia, also acknowledged the tattered relationship. The original 2021 deal required Venezuelan oil companies to deliver Iranian state companies at least two barrels of oil for every one received. Iran reportedly stopped sending cargoes to Venezuela last May after Caracas fell behind. The two countries, reeling under US sanctions for years, have been aiming to strengthen cooperation. Last year, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi met his Venezuelan counterpart Nicolas Maduro in Caracas. In a veiled reference to Washington, Raisi had said, the relation between Iran and Venezuela is not a normal diplomatic relationship, but a strategic one between countries that have common interests and common enemies. In 2022, the two countries vowed to expand bilateral trade volume to $25 billion. According to reports, the current value of ongoing business has not even touched $10 billion. Top officials from both countries have travelled in recent months to push new energy into joint businesses, but the efforts seem to be fading. Can Venezuela mend frayed ties with its strategic partner Iran? Or will Tehran pick a tit-for-tat move and abandon its ally as US sanctions bite? From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.